What is happening, everybody? It's Roll Easy here, and tonight I'm back with the holy grail of all glitches, the mother of all glitches. That is the buy everything for free in GTA 5 online glitch. It is for real, no gimmicks, no lies. I'm going to show you how to do it right here. All right, so what you do need is a CEO office to access a laptop to be able to buy everything. And I'd say sending your spawn location to the CEO office is best, but it's up to you whether you want to do that or not. But you do need a CEO office. I believe you could use a friend's also. We tested this in the last, uh, you know, glitch, the last time this came around, and it did work. But I recommend having your own CEO office. Next, you need to have the certain amount of money to buy whatever you want. If you want to buy a bunch of T20s, you need to have the amount of money it costs to buy one T20. It'll freeze your bank account, and you can buy as many as you want. So, here we go. To get started, first you want to go ahead, it doesn't matter what story mode character you are, I believe, but I did switch over to Michael, and once you're in story mode, you want to go ahead and just get one star. Best way to do this is just to take out any sort of machine gun or, you know, or weapon, just bullets only, so any gun that just shoots bullets, and go ahead and shoot a little bit till you get one star. Once you've gotten your one star, you can put away your weapon. You don't need it anymore, the cops will come to you, do not worry about that, okay? Now the most important part of the glitch is coming up very soon. All right, so I'm gonna show you and go in slow motion and tell you exactly what you need to do. Now this works for Xbox and PS4, but I'm on Xbox, so I will be showing you the steps for Xbox, but I don't see why you can't use these steps for PS4 as well. But I will leave a text tutorial for PS4 down in the pinned comment as well. Okay, so here we go, the cops are approaching. You're gonna wait for Michael to put his hands up, okay? He's gonna get busted, but you're not gonna let the animation go, so boom pause right there when his hands pop up then go to online tab go to play gta online and go to an invite only session now once you go to an invite only session you're going to go ahead and accept that alert right there once you accept that alert it's going to shoot you straight up in the clouds okay you're going to disconnect your internet once you go up into the clouds okay and then go back to the game and wait for an alert so here we go, I'm getting shot up in the clouds, now I'm disconnecting my internet, and I'm going back to GTA, and I'm going to wait for this alert that's about to pop up right now. Alright, so here we go, I'm coming back to GTA, I'm waiting, this is all in slow motion for you guys. Now, I have this alert. Accept that alert. Immediately go back and reconnect your internet. Right now I'm going back, I'm reconnecting my internet, and I'm waiting 5 seconds, then I'm going to go back to the game. Okay, when I'm back in the game, it should say quitting session, and it just disappeared. You saw it disappeared right there? Go back to your internet, disconnect, go back and wait for that black screen that just happened. Then go back and reconnect your internet and wait 5 to 10 seconds they recommend. I recommend 15 to 25 seconds. Once you've waited that amount of time for your Xbox to fully reconnect to the internet, you're going to go ahead and go back to GTA. If done correctly, you're going to see a little orange loading icon and then the GTA Online uh, loading icon right over there to the bottom right. Okay, so that is the most important part of the glitch. I will have a text tutorial down in the, in the description if that was a little bit confusing for you, but that's exactly what I had to do, and it worked perfectly, okay? Those are the exact steps. I will leave the text tutorial down in the pinned comment, okay? So now, once you've done that, that is the hardest part of the glitch, which is getting that glitch state to actually go on. So, once that has happened, you're just going to simply right now load into GTA. I set my spawn location to my CEO office, so I'm going to spawn right there. And what you should see is you should see the story mode character actually separate from your online character. You're going to see your online character for about a second, and then boom. Uh, if you started as Michael, most likely you will see Franklin pop out of your online character, which is what you're about to see right here. If you did everything correctly, that is what you're going to see, and you know that you hit the glitch perfectly, okay? So you can do that on PS4, but I'm going to leave those those uh, text tutorials, both of them, down in the pinned comment, so make sure you check that out while you're following the video, and boom, there we go. I have successfully done the glitch, and I am Franklin Online. This is SP to MP. You know how many things we can do with this glitch, but for now, this is the buy everything in the game for free, for free glitch. So once you've done that, now you're going to go ahead and you have to go eat a peyote. Now, as if you guys saw me in the last MP to, or SP to MP glitch, I always go for the peyote in the Southern Los Santos Customs, and that's exactly what I'm about to do here. Now, I recommend that you don't, you know, you don't spawn any sort of personal vehicles or anything like that. In the last glitch, that used to kind of screw everything up. 
So I recommend not doing that. Just grab a streetcar and go ahead and take it to a peyote location. I'll leave a link down in the description for other peyote locations if you don't want to go to that one. But you must be careful too. You don't want to eat uh, a peyote that sounds like a bird, uh, a cow, or any sort of sea creature or your game will crash. Okay, so if your game crashes, that's the reason. So there you go. I'm showing you on the map. Southern Los Santos Customs. That's the peyote we're going to be eating. And I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward to that part. Remember, take a street car, do not spawn any sort of personal vehicles, okay? So once you've done that, we're headed right there and we've just, you know, we've just arrived right here to the peyote location. Now, once we're here, you're just gonna press right D-pad, listen for it first. If it sounds like, you know, something you shouldn't be eating, try to go to a different peyote location and eat another one. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit right D-pad and I'm gonna enter the hallucination. Now, in the old glitch, we would wait till we're an animal and then we'd actually have to find new session. That way sucked because a lot of times you would just time out or you would get an error joining session and you have to start over completely from scratch. This one does take a bit longer, but you're guaranteed for it to work, okay? There's no hiccups at this point. So now what you wanna do, once you've spawned in as whatever land animal, remember it's gotta be a peyote land animal. Once you've done that, you have to go ahead and actually sprint or run, whatever you wanna call it, over to your CEO office. As you can see, I was at Arcadia, so it takes me a little bit of time. I will be shortly fast forwarding or actually just skipping over to when I get to my CEO office, and you're gonna run in there as an animal in the hallucination. This is the best way to do it. Once again, it takes a little bit of time to run all the way over to your CEO office, but for PS4, or for Xbox, I should say, this is your best option. Suck it up, you're getting everything in the game for free, okay? So make the jog, make the run, you know, miles, whatever it is, so check it out. I'm back over at my CEO office now. I've continued recording, and I'm just walking in there and check out how this looks. The, the animal looks all deformed and stuff, that's okay. Enter the office. Uh, you're, you can't pull up your phone or anything like that, so that's why you can't buy anything with your phone which is the reason why we have to go into our CEO office. We're going to be using the computers or laptops that are actually put down on the desks. And those are the ones that you're going to be accessing to actually buy whatever you want. At this point, your bank account is frozen. I have enough money to buy everything in the game, but I'm just going to be buying a bunch of X80 Protos to show you that this glitch is functioning and working and everything does save. Okay, so press right D-pad and watch that weird little animation thing going on there where the animal's all deformed and you're gonna go ahead and access the laptop. Once you've accessed the laptop, now you're free to buy whatever you want. If you wanna test it, buy something cheap, but check it out. I'm gonna show you right here. I'm gonna buy a black X80 Proto and look at the top right. You will not see any money subtracted from my account whatsoever. Order, I'm gonna pick a place to order it to, any garage right here and check it out. So I'm gonna pick probably one of these Sultans because I don't care about the Sultans anymore. I'd rather replace them with X80s. So here we go. I'm gonna replace over this first Sultan and then replace. Nothing came out of the top right. You see that? No minus, you know, anything. I bought it completely free. Right here I made a mistake and actually bought an LG RH8. I was kind of excited about the glitch that I finally got to hit it this time. And yeah, I bought an X or I bought an LG. But I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna go ahead and buy another X80 and nothing will get subtracted from my account, which is exactly what you wanna see. You have a frozen bank account. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick over this LG RH8 and here we go. Once I pick it, replace, boom. Nothing came out of the top right. Bank account is successfully frozen and I'm just gonna fast forward through all the X80s that I bought. I pretty much filled up like two garages or one and a half garages I should say with X80s because I'll just go ahead and sell these later. But yeah, this is a great glitch, guys. You can buy anything, yachts, whatever. Uh, I'll teach you how to save everything, okay? So there is a process to save it. So that was the last one that I bought right there. And now once you've bought everything you want in the game for free, go ahead and get off your laptop. And once you've gotten off your laptop, wait for, although you can't pull up your phone, you can still hear all the little ding noises, you know? All those noises, uh, the notifications, the text that say that things were delivered. You have to listen to them. So wait for all of those notifications to come through by listening, turn up your volume, and wait for everything to come through saying that it was confirmed and delivered. Once you're at that point, I'm just gonna skip over to, you know, once you know everything got saved and I knew everything was saved because I didn't hear any more notifications, you're gonna go ahead and I exited to roof, but you can exit to ground, whatever. We're in an invite only session, so nobody's gonna kill you or bother you. It's all good. So right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and exit to roof. 
Now, once you've exited to roof, remember, you're still in uh, the hallucination, obviously, because you're an animal right now. Check out another weird <laughs> animation. I had no idea the last time that we could just go into our CEO office like this. If I did, this would have been the way easier method to do. But this one is what we got this time. And right now, you're actually going to hold right on the D-pad. And when you hold right on the D-pad, that is going to exit the hallucination. You will see some crazy, you know, little, you know, hallucination animation that will come up very shortly. So once again, right D-pad, and you're going to get something that looks like that. Once you've gotten that, that means you've exited the hallucination, and you should spawn back as your story mode character. In our case, it was Franklin that ate the peyote. So if you guys want the similar results as me, I started off as Michael and then I spawned in as Franklin into online and this is what we get. So now you see Franklin's acting like a dog still, but we are out of the animation. Now, once you're out of the animation, you're gonna go ahead and open up your interaction menu, walk forward a bit. If it's grayed out like it was for me, kill yourself. Once you've killed yourself, you will spawn back as a weird looking version of your online character. It's kind of like a glitched version of him He's got like, you know, the typical jeans on with the crew uh, t-shirt and checkerboard shoes. That's okay. So now what you want to do is, since you're at this point, you need to save everything you bought. So if you bought cars, go to every garage and you want to swap the spaces. Just swap the cars over by one space and that is what's going to save. I'm going to show you right here exactly what I do. I was just checking right here to see which garages I bought all the uh, X80s for. Okay, so... I bought a few in Del Perro and Integrity Way. Del Perro I pretty much almost filled up except for the uh, retro I had in there already. So I'm just going to go ahead and run in there. Now, if you bought yachts, anything like that, or, or I don't know if apartments stick. I know yachts can stick. I know um, MC Clubhouses can stick. I do know CEO offices can stick. If that was the case, you just want to modify something on them. The cheapest modification, whether it's the font or anything like that, you just slightly modify it and that's what's going to get it to save. If you bought cars like me, this is how you get the cars to save. So check it out. I use my retro to kind of, you know, as a point to show me exactly what, you know, where I can start. So I'm going to grab the, uh, the retro and just swap it over, you know, each spot throughout the entire garage. All you got to do is move over the cars by one space. So as you can see right here, this is proof that I'm just moving it all over by one space. Once you've done that, you can exit. Do that at every garage, every, you know, every garage that you purchase vehicles on. And that's what you're going to do. I believe for Pegasus vehicles, if you want to buy those, you have to call them up and then blow them up. I think that is how you save Pegasus vehicles. Don't quote me on that. I haven't done it, but that is what we did in the last glitch. So in this one, you see, this is my other garage that I filled up. I think five, yeah, five X80 Protos in this one. I'm just going to go ahead and switch them over by one. So you see right here, just switching over the Arden through them just to make sure that I switched all of them over. Once you've switched everything over and you've saved everything that you've bought, whether it be yachts, you know, buildings or uh, Pegasus vehicles or cars. Once you've done all that, go ahead and exit the garage and just end up outside. I ended up outside just because I wanted to make sure that it was gonna save, but at this point, when you do this step, it saves automatically. You're gonna see why. So once I'm outside right here, I'm gonna go ahead and press pause, go over to online and jump into creator. Once I've jumped into creator, it's gonna automatically save my progression as it showed you right there in the alert. So once you're there, press pause again, Go to online, play GTA online, and invite only session. At this point, once you've spawned in, you're out of the glitch, completely out of the glitch, and then you should be able to check and make sure that all of your vehicles are still there. So once I've spawned into my new invite only session, you should be able to pull up your phone. Money should get subtracted if you buy anything. I'm going to press right D-pad to show you right here that everything did stick. So check it out. Integrity Way, those are the five uh, X80s I bought. Del Perro, those are the nine X80s I bought. That is all you got to do, guys, to save them. Really, really simple to save your vehicles. The most important part, really, is that beginning part of the glitch to actually get glitched out as SP to MP, okay? So it's back, guys. I finally was able to upload this before it got patched, and I hope all of you guys can take advantage of this. Really, not that late of a post. It's on a Saturday night. Hopefully, it is not patched tomorrow, but you never know. I suggest leaving your consoles on today. If you're your PS4, put them in rest mode. And as you can see right here, I called up one of my X80s, and I'm even going to sell it right here, you know, just to make a quick profit. And I'll probably do this glitch again and buy some more things. Who knows? Maybe on some other accounts I got. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and sell it. And that is the entire glitch, guys. Once you've gotten into the new invite-only session from the glitch state, and you can pull up your phone and money gets subtracted, that's it. Everything is saved. So 
that's the whole glitch if you guys got questions you know where to put them down there remember the pinned comment will be full with much more information all the steps that you guys need if you have data fix errors i will post the steps for the data fix errors as well they do work to anybody that says they don't work i'm sorry but you missed a step my friends and i have been using these steps for a while whenever my data gets corrupted i do these exact steps and they work 100 percent of the time Okay, so that's the whole glitch right there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like the video by hitting that blue thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe by hitting the big red button if you're new. And turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody.